Hello again and welcome back internet space people. We had went through how to build and set up and route and hoo ha with PI a little bit ago. So I let it run for a couple hours. Now we are on the way back to go scoop the things and go over that side of the process. I am in the Epithal, which I had mentioned before. This ship is literally meant for... I guess not, I had named mine Captain Planet. We're doing planetary interaction. Why not? But yeah, I'm a... Per level 10% bonus to PI commodity hold. And this thing can hold quite a bit. 67,000 M3 at max rank. 0.5. But anyway... We need to go to that place from before. And just like before, hope there's nobody waiting on the other side to kill me. Oh yeah, we had routed everything earlier to the launch pads already, so I don't need to scoot anything over. In a null wormhole scenario, you might want to export to a completely different storage facility, because it can hold more than a launch pad can. But in this just temp prove the process means I just did a small setup. Oh yes, and also in between I did set up the other three worlds and set up the factory planet, but I did not load it yet. So we are on our way. And lucky me, I'm all alone, so I don't have to worry about somebody popping up to kill me. Oh yes, when you go to this menu, make sure you go to the customs office at zero. If you warp to the planet, usually the customs office will be 100 plus kilometers away from you. And cargo ship moves really slow. You probably don't want that. So warp to it and then access it. Or you can, if you have the icons in space. Let's see. Of course I don't right now. <laughs> I normally do. There, wrong overview. You can click the customs office before you get there, open it up, then you need to scoot things over to that side, transfer it out, and then plop it into your ship. Repeat the process X, um, X more times. Again, mind you, I would normally run this for two plus days before I mess with it. This has been two plus hours, so don't expect all that much. Well, I closed my inventory like a fool. Well, this is a pretty straightforward process, so let's just skip to the factory planet. Oh, and also, mind you, when I was taking things on or off the world, there is a tax rate. I had to pay 10% of the item's given value to move it, and I'm going to have to again to put it onto this factory world. This will be another instance where if you had a much larger, richer yield setup, you would want to have two launch pads possibly set up, because you can only put in 26,000 of these refined materials onto a planet at one time. And just like taking stuff off, we need to scoot it over there, hit transfer, and I pay, yeah, 10% again, because whoever owns this thing... You can destroy them and put your own up and generate tax revenue from people, but if you're in high second trying to do it, you have to declare war on the faction, and that could go badly. Anyway, once you have that list up, you can double-click on the planets, and it will zoom you into wherever your command center was. Hopefully, yours is close to whatever you're doing. I forgot to link those two earlier. That might help. Very important to have a path between buildings. So 
So, expedited transfer to storage. Scoot those over. And now to combine materials, you're going to have to build an advanced facility. An advanced industry facility. And I had picked superconductors to use my water and plasma. Let's find them. And it's more or less the same process as before. You just have to route two materials to the factory instead of one. Hopefully we can... There we go. Found the right spot on the slider bar, finally. Two. Oh. And three. And the fourth one. Oh no, not Ukomi superconductors. <laughs> That's one more tier up, and I don't have all that infrastructure to build those, although I have before. Okay, everything is routed back to the launch pad. Now I just need to fill the machine. Oh yeah. Earlier, we did the routing from the route screen because we were moving a material you didn't own yet. To do it this time, you'd have to go through storage the way I did it. And notice that the little bar on the side of the factories lights up once they're routed and ready to go with that material. And advanced factories, unlike the basic ones, take an hour to process what they're doing. So again, you want to estimate and scale things as best you can. And I do it for the water. Boom, that one's ready to go. That one is ready to go. I did it again. Forgot to close the chat. Intel is OPSEC and I failed. I had to block that out in the beginning again. Hooray. Got distracted by breach of protocol. I'm all caught up in making the spice flow and I forget these things. Also, I'm just floating in space, aren't I? Yes, I am. That is bad. Just floating in low second a cargo ship. Luckily, nobody came in, so it didn't really matter. But that's the process. The key piece people seem to miss usually is the whole routing deal, and that is the tedium of even after all that click storm of building stuff, then you gotta multi click in between everything. But once it's good to go, you won't have to mess with it for a while. So, good luck to you, and thank you for watching.